All right, continuing on, we just made it to Pewter City. Hey, nice. I was hoping we'd run into each other. You know, there's a Pokemon gym up this way, right, Paul? You can battle against the gym leader there, and he's seriously strong. If you want to get stronger, you've definitely got to try to take him on. Ha! Jeez, Pikachu. You're ready for a good battle too, huh? Who wouldn't be? Alright then. You're making me want to cheer you guys on too, so take these. Five potions from Josh. Nice. I bought some for you with the prize money I've been earning in all my battles. Little humble brag there. Beat that gym leader, Paul, and you can really call yourself a true trainer. Give it your best. Nice. So we made it to Pewter City. All the Pokemon in your team can earn experience points even if they don't fight in a battle. Good to know, but if you do switch them into a battle, even just for a moment, they'll get more experience points. Pro tip, that's how you level up Magikarp in Pokemon Red. First things first, let's head to the Pokemon Center and heal our sweet baby Pikachu. Welcome to the Pokemon Center. Would you like to rest your Pokemon? Yeah. I'll take your Pokemon for a few seconds then. Perfect. Thanks for waiting. Your Pokemon should be all better now. We hope to see you again. All right, we're in a new town. As we know, we have to check out everything in a new town. Pokemon Center News, will you read it? Of course I will. Please be careful of a group of people calling themselves Team Rocket. They've been known to steal people's Pokemon and use Pokemon for evil deeds. Please stay away from anyone who has a big R on their clothing. To our readers who are strong trainers, please do not respond to any attempts they might make to recruit you. To the point. The Pewter City Specialty Pewter Crunchies, man. They're 500 P slashy thingies. You're limited to one package per day, though. Yep, sure, I guess. <laughs> Thanks, they're very hard, so be careful. A bag of pewter crunchies, what is that? Put the bag in the medicine. Let's see, what is that? Pewter crunchies. They can be used to heal all status conditions. Oh, actually good. Pretty cool. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, she's playing a Switch. I really want a Pikachu, so I'm trading my Clefairy for one. I'm trading Pokemon with the girl next to me. I had two Pikachu, so I figured I might as well trade one. Okay. What? Team Rocket is at Mount Moon? Huh? I'm on the phone, scram! The businessman. Hey lass, the Pewter City Gym Leader Brock is a Rock-type Pokemon user. Rock-type Pokemon are weak to grass and water-type moves. If you don't pay attention to type matchups, you can't defeat the Gym Leader. Well, that's a matter of fact. Nice, alright. Welcome back to the Games Conversation channel. My name is Paul, and we are playing Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. There aren't many serious Pokemon trainers here in Pewter City. They're all bug catchers and the like. You know, just hobbyists. But Brock at the Pewter City Gym isn't like that. Not one bit. Good to know. Good to know. Extra defense. So we are playing Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. And Normally, you would play this game and you'd be catching a lot of Pokemon, but we are not really catching any Pokemon. You should be careful with your money. Don't go blowing it all in one place. But it's also fun sometimes to buy a whole bunch of Pokeballs at once. Ha 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 ha. Sorry, Granny. Not doing that. Yeah, so we're not going to be catching very many Pokemon at all. Instead, what I've done is I've set aside a team of Pokemon that I want to use for this playthrough. And let me tell you why they're special in just a minute. Nidoran, sit! 
Bow bow, okay. We got our Pokemon in a trade, so it's finicky and hard to handle. Pokemon that you get from trades grow faster, but they won't listen to a weak trainer in battle. If only we had some gym badges. Good call. So yeah, the Pokemon that I've set aside, they're specific Pokemon, and they're going to be more of like a, a party, like a traditional RPG, like Final Fantasy or something. It's like they're going to come in at certain points of the story, and uh, those are going to be the Pokemon we use to move through the story of Let's Go Pikachu. Psst, do you know what I'm doing? I don't. I'm spraying Lua around to get wild Pokemon to come visit my flower beds. Oh, cool. Psst, do you know what I'm doing? I s no, I don't. I'm spraying Rappel around to keep wild Pokemon out of my flower beds. Okay. Pewter City, a stone gray city. So, on our channel, we play great Nintendo games, and we talk about them. But, <clears throat> um, one of the ways... There's a notice posted here. There have been reports recently of thieves stealing valuable Pokemon fossils on Mount Moon. Please call the Pewter Police if you have any information or see anything suspicious. One of the ways we choose great Nintendo games to play is by thinking of great Nintendo characters. Characters, you know, like Mario and Zelda and, and Pikachu. And so you can look back at the history of our channel and see games we've played and characters that have been represented. Well, the party that we're going to use in this game is Pokemon that represent the characters that have been showcased on our channel. Like I said, you can go look at the history on our channel to see what Nintendo characters might be featured. But the real kicker is, which Pokemon have I chosen to represent those characters in this game? We're going to meet our first one very soon. In this episode, in fact. Did you check out the museum already? I didn't. Really? You absolutely have to go. Uh, I will. Ah, it's so refreshing. Pewter City stays lovely and cool since it lies at the base of the mountain. Mount Moon, I, I'm gathering. A shady old guy suckered me into buying this weird Pokemon. It's totally weak and it costs 500. We always called those P slashy things. I guess it's meant to be Poke Dollars, but as a kid it was like, what is P with lines through it? I don't know. Good things can happen if you raise Pokemon diligently. Even the weak ones can surprise you if you don't give up on them. Look at that, like, one-two punch. Those two NPCs are telling you, like, buy the Magikarp and be patient. May I help you? I'm here to buy. Let's see. Pokeball. Potion. The only thing I'm nervous about really is poison and paralyze. So I do want to buy a handful of these. Five antidotes. And paralyze. Not like nervous about them currently, but like that's the kind of thing that I'm going to get, you know, poisoned by a Zubat or something. I just want to be prepared. Alright. We are exploring Pewter City. It's not a huge city, but there are a lot of people. This is my sweet little Free. When she walks with me, she sometimes finds items in the field. Cool. Free! I like the housing in Pewter City. It's real, like, just cool looking. You've got a better chance of catching a Pokemon if you throw your Pokeball and get him right in the center. But catching Pokemon is never a sure thing. He's got a point. Oh, I like this Clefairy poster. Pokemon learn new moves as they grow, but some moves must be learned by TMs. Imagine if I didn't know what a TM was. There was no additional explanation there. Luckily, I do. Ba -da -ba -da. Anything over here? Oh, I need my secret technique. Technique! Technique! What have we here? Pewter Museum of Science. Let's check it out.
Um, excuse me. Hello, it's $50 for kids. Would you like to come in? Sure, yeah. I'll check it out. Please enjoy yourself. Whoa. A fossil of the rare ancient Pokemon Kabutops. There are various fossils from Mount Moon. Wow, an ancient Pokemon. Oh, it's just a replica. A fossil of the rare ancient Pokemon Aerodactyl. I should be grateful for my long life. Never did I think I would get to see the bones of a dragon. All this Lance propaganda, you know, using Pokemon that aren't really dragons as a dragon trainer. This month we're running a space exhibit. You sure are. It says it's an object that fell on Mount Moon, thought to be a moonstone. Moonstone, huh? What's so special about it? Looks like an ordinary rock to me. A 3D hologram, and it has a title, A Map of the Universe. Wow. I want a Pikachu. It's so cute. Daddy, can you please get one for me? Yeah, I'll get you a Pikachu soon, I promise. I think you and Pikachu are going to become fast friends. I couldn't take that away. What was he like passively threatening to steal my Pokemon? You saw a beautiful crystal when you looked into the microscope. It looked to be pieces of a meteor. Looks like an old space shuttle. It's been decades since mankind stood on the moon and now we're following the dream of standing on that far away red planet. News about space always makes me so excited. I think in Pokemon Fire Red, which was like Gen 3, to go along with Ruby Sapphire, I think these were like the meteors that you could change Deoxys with. I never did that, but I think that's what those are. Cool, so Science Museum. Pretty neat. What else is there in Pewter City? Oh dear, what am I supposed to do with you, Slowpoke? Oh, hello there. Do you think you could do me a favor? I don't see why not. I want to go to the Pewter Museum, but my dear Slowpoke here is just refusing to budge. Pooh. Do you think you could keep an eye on my dear Slowpoke for a little while? Sure. Oh, thank you very much. In that case, please keep my dear Slowpoke company for a little while. Yeah, great. Mm-hmm. Slowpoke is staring blankly ahead. You spent a relaxing time with Slowpoke. I wonder if Slowpoke is going to be our first party member. Whoa. What Nintendo character would Slowpoke represent? Thank you for keeping an eye on dear Slowpoke. Here, this is for your trouble. You got a big pearl, okay. You can sell that for money. I would love it if you could keep an eye on Slowpoke again sometime. Nice, okay. I wonder if you can do that, like, just infinitely to get so many big pearls. I don't know. Have you heard the stories that say Clefairy come from the moon? People started seeing them after moonstones fell on Mount Moon. <gasps> Pewter City Pokemon Gym. Gym leader Brock. The rock solid Pokemon trainer. Now I know all I have is Pikachu, but I've seen Ash beat Brock with just Pikachu. So surely, surely we can do it. Oh, the stadium. I really do like about Kanto. They had neat Pokemon gems back here. Hiya. You're here to challenge the gym, aren't you? I'm not a trainer, but I can tell if you're worthy of challenging the gym leader. Now, let's get started. The Pewter City Gym only allows trainers who know tight matchups to enter. 
There are a few types that have an advantage against the gym leader's rock-type Pokemon, but for trainers who have never challenged a gym before, we have them use either grass or water-type Pokemon. You have to show me a grass or water-type Pokemon if you want to face the gym leader. All I have is Pikachu. Do you not have one? You can find grass-type Pokemon near Pallet Town. Come back once you've caught the Pokemon you need. The Pewter City Gym will be waiting. <sighs> well, I'm definitely not walking all the way back to Pallet Town. Maybe we can head to Mount Moon and kind of see if there's anything over there. So a grass or a water type Pokemon. If only I was able to choose Squirtle or Bulbasaur, you know? You're a trainer, right? Brock's looking for new challengers. Follow me. What? How did... If you think you've got the right stuff, you should take on Brock. Weird. I was on my way to Mount Moon and that kid teleported me back over here. Hold on. Something's shaking in my bag. Whoa! What's this? Mario's gonna join us. And Mario is a grass type. Nice. It's stretching out and relaxing. So, Mario is our first new party member. Why a Paris for Mario? I mean, it's the mushrooms, right? Look, I didn't say they're all gonna be like super great matches. It's Pokemon. You can't have like an Italian plumber dude Pokemon. So, you gotta match it with something. Anyway, Paris is our Mario, and he's gonna help us beat Brock at the Pewter City Gym. Let's see. I can't wait to show you my brand new grass type Pokemon. Great! That Pokemon is exactly what I wanted to see. Head on in and aim to become a Pokemon champion. Pewter City Pokemon Gym. Gym leader, Brock. Certified trainer, Josh. So, let's beat these trainers with Mario. We're gonna put Mario out front. Okay, and here we go. This is the Pewter City Gym. Trainers here are a bit different from those you've faced so far. They're built different. Here we go, bringing Mario into a, our first battle. Let's see how much help Mario is going to be. Whether you know it or not, we have played a handful of Mario games on our channel. I'm going to link them, I think, up here. And it's going to be uh, Super Mario Bros. 2, which is super good. And Super Mario World, which is one of the best games ever made. So feel free to check out those Mario games as we watch Mario have his first battle. And yes, his moveset is a little stacked. So I think to start, we'll use Brick Break. Paris has really strong attack, and so we're leaning into that. Mario got a boosted, so yeah, he does come from another game, and so he's treated like a, a traded Pokemon in this case. You're quite different from the challengers I've faced. Was it your first gym battle? You don't look it, but you have a lot of guts. Next! Stop right there, kid. You're 10,000 light years from facing Brock. So you can see, we're trying to bring in these Pokemon that represent characters that we featured on our channel. But I didn't want it to be like a normal playthrough of Pokemon where you're kind of leveling and, and building a Pokemon. I wanted them to be sort of like established characters. And so that's why I've gone ahead and giving it moves that I want it to have so it can be usable. I don't want to be in a playthrough of Pokemon, like if I'm playing by myself, I don't mind like fainting 
and going and retrying battles and all this stuff. But for the sake of like just the flow of the game and to enjoy like these characters as a party, like an RPG, I really wanted them just to be like kind of ready to go. And so light years isn't time, it measures distance. I wanted to go ahead and give them moves that were usable and, you know, make sure that they were usable as a character, essentially. All right, are we ready to face Brock? Mario, we need your help. So, you're here. <laughs> I'm doing my best Brock impression. I'm Brock, Pewter City's gym leader. You can see just by looking at my Pokemon how rock hard my willpower is. My Pokemon are all hard as rock and have true grit determination. That's right, my Pokemon are all rock types. Fwahaha, <laughs> you're going to challenge me even knowing that you'll lose? That's what a trainer's honor demands. So be it, show me your best. I always love the gym leader music. Challenged by gym leader Brock in his like classic pose there. Go Geodude! We've already beaten two of these, so shouldn't be a big deal. All right, Mario. Let's hit it with Brick Break. Oh, he's level 11 though. We'll do Brick Break. Super effective. So there is like the exp all built in. About to do Onyx. We're not switching. So yeah, Pikachu is getting experience from this as well. Hmm, Onyx. Let's give Spore a try. Mmm. Spore. Much better than sleep powder. Spore is like a hundred percent effective. So Onyx is asleep. And now we can use. Let's try dig. See if that works. I feel like I'm being a little bit risky in this, but I want to try to give his moveset a chance, you know? Because he will, I think he will learn other moves as he levels up. And if, you know, by some chance I want to learn them, I want to make sure I've used these moves first. So, Dig did a good bit. Onyx still fast asleep. My biggest fear was that he was going to wake up and use, like, Rock Throw or something and just take sweet little Mario out. But we'll hit it with Brick Break, and that should uh, just about do it. And I would say beating Brock with a Paris... I mean, that might be almost as out there as Ash beating Brock with a Pikachu. So, I feel great about it. Mario grew to level 9. So, as you can see, attack super high. And that's what we're kind of just leaning on. Mario wants to learn Absorb. Mm, nah. <laughs> Pikachu grew to level 9. Great. They're growing as teammates. Pikachu wants to lear learn Double Kick. That would have been helpful in this battle. Uh, let's see. So Pikachu's attack is the highest. I want to keep Thundershock because it's electric. Quick attack and tail whip. I want to get rid of Growl. Another reason I wanted to go ahead and teach uh, our party Pokemon. It seems I underestimated you. I want to go ahead and teach them their moves so that we wouldn't be spending a bunch of time kind of waffling over move sets. I just want to like be able to move forward with the story and enjoy the party. As proof of your victory, take an official Pokemon League badge. A Boulder Badge. I got a Boulder Badge. With a Boulder Badge, Pokemon up to level 20 from other trainers will listen to you. Without question. Oh, and wait, take this with you, too. TM01 Headbutt, which is not a rock-type move. If you use a TM, or technical machine, you can teach your Pokemon the move within it. 
A TM can be used as many times as you like, so use it on any Pokemon you want. Headbutt deals damage to your opponent's Pokemon by ramming them with a head as hard as rock. But not actually rock. Oh, Pikachu wants to say... I like that he gives a little high five. Pikachu looks completely overjoyed with your victory. Well, thank goodness for Mario, huh? I don't think I can uh, interact with Mario very well, but... Oh, he's got stars. Mario's looking at your new badge and appears very happy. He should be. You have anything else to say? There are all kind of people in this huge world of ours. Some have their Pokemon battle. Some just like to raise them. I'm hard at work here to learn how to become a Pokemon breeder who helps raise Pokemon. You're aiming to become a strong trainer, right? Then you should challenge all the other gyms. Nice. So we got our first badge. And... We met our first friend, Mario. Just as I thought, your Pokemon champ material. I love the follow behind mechanic. I really wish they would include that in like every game. Hey, you there, newbie. Don't tell me, you've got to be Paul, right? How did you know that? Cause you look just like my gramps said. I'm Blue, aka Gary. I heard from my gramps that two new kids set out from Pallet Town to become trainers. Just like I did once. So I came to check you out. I was thinking you might want some advice on how to beat the gym from an expert trainer like me. But looks like I showed up too late, huh? Seems you're not too shabby yourself. So I guess you've earned a reward, newbie. Five great balls, all right. You put the great balls in your catching pocket. Those will be even better for catching Pokemon than plain old Pokeballs. And hey, that thing you've got there, that's a Pokedex, right? So Gramps finally went and made one. He used to make me just scribble on a map with a pencil about where I encountered Pokemon. You'd better do a good job helping him out. He may be Professor Oak to you, and sure, he's an old coot but he's still my gramps. Smell you later, newbie. I love that. Oh, that Gary. Come on, Paris. Nice. So we finished up Pewter City. We got our boulder badge. Oh, what is it, buddy? Thanks, Mario found something in the plants, a raspberry. <laughs> You're already pulling your weight. Nice. Oh wow, that's a boulder badge. You got it from Brock, didn't you? When you get new gym badges, more items become available to you in the Pokemart. By the way, the Pokemart is that blue building. Good to know. Pokemarts are in lots of towns though, so you probably already knew that, huh? I did, yeah. Cool, I think he's finally going to let us pass. Well, thanks for joining me on the Games Conversation channel today. Hopefully you've enjoyed our playthrough of Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. Now that you're starting to see the little bit of Games Conversation channel twist, where we're bringing in a party made of Pokemon that are representing characters that have been featured on our channel. Today we met Mario, the Paris. And... It's Mario the Paris because of mushrooms? Anyway, start thinking about other Nintendo characters that have been featured on our channel. Leave a comment below if you can guess, number one, who they are. Number two, what Pokemon are going to represent them? I'd love to hear your ideas. It took me a while to kind of figure out who I was really going to choose for which Nintendo character. So I'd be curious to see if it's obvious for anyone else. Anyway, we're headed to Mount Moon next, so stay tuned.